You're listening to the Experience Pros radio show brought to you by Mass Mutual Colorado. Experience Pros, where business revolutionaries Angel Tussie and Eric Raymer, best selling authors of lists that save my business, and founders of Experience Pros University, are inspiring you to get your business right. Let's join Angel and Eric for today's program. Good morning and welcome to the Experience Pros Radio Show with Angel and Eric. Very nice to have you along with us today. We're here to remind you that small business is a big business. Your business is our business. All right. I'm so excited about what big old news I'm going to, quite interesting fact I'm going to learn today. We've got some good feedback about the first five minutes of our uh, programs these days, and uh, it all is a result of 1,339 Quite interesting facts to make your jaw drop, and uh, the book that you can pick up by John Lloyd, John Mitchison, and James Harkin. Um, they were it, such fun as radio guests. They yeah. really were. They've got a, a, a television show in uh, Britain called uh, Quite Interesting QI, and uh, they, they've uh, done. Uh, they're, they're bringing it to, to the U.S. and they've written a book about some of the facts that they find. It's a game show, and uh, some of these are really, really amazing. For instance. Um, I, I am, I am horrified. I am t t terrified of spiders. Who is the comedian that makes fun of? Even you know, you get a anybody. Doesn't matter who it is. Yeah. Or, uh, you know, a man, a woman, a, an adult, a child. But I think what's the funniest is when he talks about you know you get these big, strong, right. you know, serious men. And um, but if they walk into walk a, through a spider walk web. through a spider web, they get all like ninja on you. Oh yeah, yeah, that's uh, Brian Regan. And uh, boy, I'll tell you what, he's absolutely right. Um, interesting fact about spiders: uh, Did you know that spiders can survive for hours underwater by huh. entering a self-induced coma? So my idea of flushing down down the toilet doesn't kill them. Well, it gives them a, a ride, uh, but they may wake up. But they're long, far, far away by the time we they wake up, right? We certainly hope so. Right? That's the goal. I mean, okay. if they cling on to a Klingon. Because, you know, sometimes, you know, you rinse them down the drain. Right. And they could come back. If they get stuck in the pee trap. Right. Ho, ho. You could have spider haven down there. Um, speaking of spiders, 95% uh, of those spiders in your house. 95% of them? Have never been outside. So they were born in the house, bum, they bum, lived in bum, the house, they will die in the house. Right. If we're lucky. <laughs> <laughs> if we're lucky. Absolutely. Um, do you know that starfish have eyes at the end of their arms? Uh, isn't their whole body like eyes? I don't know. But oh, no, no, no. No. Aren't the eyes on the underbelly of them? I saw. What was that movie? Finding Nemo. Really? No, the eyeballs are on the underbelly. No, the eyes are at the end of their arms. No, that wasn't how they were portrayed in the Disney film. <laughs> you, <laughs> well, therefore, it must be, because flying carpets and princesses are the way of the world. Uh, ch check out all these facts at QI.com. Have fun. Go check it out. You can. Uh, I'm reading from page 28 right now. Uh, page 29 tells us that Danny DeVito is a qualified hairdresser. Is he really? <laughs> all right. So, uh, Isn't that funny? Why? He has no hair. You think that because he doesn't do his own, he can't do somebody else's? Think about Actually, I think that was probably what makes him like uber qualified. Your hairdresser is Nicole, right? Right. And, and uh, somebody else does Nicole's hair. No, no, I Nicole understand. does not do her no, own I, hair. I understand. Okay. Nicole, uh, think about Nicole, uh, and you're sitting in the chair. Does she ever move the chair, or does she move around you? A little bit of both, actually. A little actually. bit of both, right? Yeah, sure, sure. Right. And Danny has to move the box to stand on in order to cut anybody's hair. What are you saying? Because he's not as tall as you? He's not, he well, can't cut not hair. as tall as I am, but I don't, I don't think he can reach. You don't think he can reach? I don't. Really? He's a short man. So now you're you're saying because he's short and bald, he can't do somebody else's hair. It's it's not. I didn't say he can't. Judgy, I just, judgy, wedgy, judgy, was a bear. No. Oh, no. <laughs> not judgy. Uh, observant. Observant, uh huh. Yeah. You 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 do have a face for radio. Oh. Oh, I don't. I don't. I don't know that that made me very happy at all. <laughs> you should just stick to your day job. 
Maybe I should. I should go back to bring in the news. Uh, no, I liked these quite yeah. interesting facts. Um, That's good news. And you can find more information about them at qi.com. Um, and it, they are. They have been verified. Um, so so that's why we're allowing Eric to bring them because um, somebody else, they've, they've had an extra layer of verification to them. We are allowing well, yeah. Eric to bring them? <laughs> we're, or, okay, maybe wrong word. Encouraging Eric. My to bring. badge says media just like yours. Well, yeah, you can print one of those. Did you print that out on your own printer? Oh my gosh. Like your own business card? You ever run into somebody who still prints their own business cards? Yes, that, that, <laughs> I find that comical. And no, my media badge is not printed by me or my own. <laughs> Oh my gosh! <laughs> Fantastic show for you today, Perhaps folks. You're just uh, a little too passionate about what you do. Yeah, uh, you, too passionate about what yeah. you, you uh -huh. know. What? Uh -huh. I am passionate. I got Pam Atherton coming up. Uh, oh, because you can yell and like pull a fist together. That's your passion, right you there. You know nothing of my passion. You know what? We are going to change the subject. Yeah, he's going to take this the wrong Better. way. Pam Atherton's coming up. We love Pam Atherton. You will, too. Don't go anywhere. You're listening to Angel and Eric on the Experience Pros Radio Show. The Experience Pros, revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. You've done it yourself. You've put in a few keywords to search for something, and what comes up is nothing like what you're looking for. Thousands of responses, but nothing close to what you need. You try again, frustrated, you finally find it buried deep within the walls of the internet. Don't do that to your potential customers. Make it easy. Make it Colorado SEO easy. Colorado SEO optimizes your keywords so customers can find you quickly. Optimize your website by contacting Colorado SEO. Search engine optimization the way you hoped it would be. ColoradoSEO.com. That's ColoradoSEO.com. Design, implement, and support. If you have a computer, a cell phone, or a tablet, you have a network. Hi, this is Eric, and I've got great news for you. Your network has a guy. For the last 15 years, Brad Binkley of Binkley IT has served his clients without killing their budget. Brad can effectively manage a network of up to 50 computers, typically for about two to four hours a week. Huge savings, no sacrifice. Call Brad today for your next IT partner, 720-254-1057. That's 720-254-1057. Ten fifty seven. Binkley IT. Solving the IT puzzle one piece at a time. Would you know what to do if a coworker started to feel dizzy and complain of chest pains? Starting CPR while waiting for an ambulance to arrive can double the chance of the victim's survival. Safety Solved can help. We provide customized on-site training, including both professional and basic CPR, AED, and first aid, with American Red Cross and American Heart Association trainings. We also facilitate first aid kit and AED equipment programs. Let us make your safety and wellness programs complete. Call today, 303-257-9589. That's 303-257-9589. Or online at safety-solved.com. Can you imagine going an entire day without your phone or computer? Crazy, right? How else would you communicate with your team, contact that client, or even get paid? Absolutely nothing happens when you don't have technology in your lap. Even a slow-running computer can stall your progress. And when your software doesn't sync, nothing seems to work out. You've got a technology partner like no other with C Squared Computer Consulting. C Squared is your business pain reliever. Solve your pain. Call C Squared at 303-933-1113. Where do you go when the bank says no? Every business needs money, and yours is probably no different. What's that you say? Your bank backed out on a commitment to you? Our friend Steve Replin has the answers to your financial questions. Steve's new book, Where to Go When the Bank Says No, is the authoritative guide to finding you the money you need now. Where to Go When the Bank Says No, available right now at hardmoneybooks.com. That's hardmoneybooks.com. Where do you go when the bank says no? Hardmoneybooks.com. Hi, Bill McCormick here to thank you for making the Crawford Stand part of your day and to let you know that now you can hear the stand on demand. Just go online to www.crawfordbroadcasting.com. Click on the stand button and look for the title of the commentary you want. You can then click on it to read, print, listen, or download as an MP3. This new service is for commentaries broadcast since the beginning of this year, and they're right there on the stand page at www.crawfordbroadcasting.com. The Crawford Stand is a public affairs presentation for God and Country. Dana Lash, after Grassroots Radio Colorado, on KLZ 560.
The experienced pros want to help you get your business right. And now, back to Eric and Angel on the Experience Pros Radio Show. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Thanks for taking time out of your day to join us for hours. Do you know what the uh, the actual translation of this this chant behind uh, the singer? I is. do not, but I just imagine how fun it would have been to record it. It is plant kumquats with passion. Ooh, it had to be very passionate. That's that's the uh, direct translation of the of the music that we're listening to. All right. Well, we all hear about following our passion, putting our passion into our work. If you're passionate about what you do, right. the, your business will just grow. Uh, and we've heard variations of that. What we're going to talk about if, is passion really what we're after. Pam Atherton, our award-winning media mogul who comes on the show with us once a month with award-winning media and marketing tips. And she's beautiful. She is beautiful, and uh, she often has some fun dating advice for Eric as well. Pam, welcome. <laughs> All right, thank you. I hope you both have been swabbing your poop deck this morning. Hey, hey. <laughs> You'll be talking about me poop deck and that's inappropriate. Yeah, have you jollied your Roger? That's what I want to know. Um, We're not allowed to talk about that on this this radio show, but uh, that's not yeah. till tomorrow. I know, International uh, Pirate uh, Talk Like a Pirate Day is here. So, uh, uh, but, uh, you know, you two are both very passionate people, mm. no doubt about it. And, and then we have heard this from so many places. Follow your passion and the money will come. But we have to be careful because, you know, moderation in all things. We have to be careful because passion can actually cause you problems. What? Much, yeah, I know, I know. So here's what happens. It clouds our vision and our judgment, and we ignore those signals and signs that are there to alert us to dangers or perhaps even problems with our thought process. Um, and you know what it's like. Sometimes you want something too much and Pamela. you ignore the pitfalls, right? Pamela. Yes. Yes. Excuse, excuse me. Yes. <laughs> yes. Pamela. Yes, darling. Can, can we talk? Yes. Yes, we can. I, I think, <laughs> I think that you just haven't had the proper dose of passion. Of passion. Well, here's the deal. <laughs> Thank goodness I'm not blinded by it so that I can catch <laughs> things before they turn into crises, right? <laughs> well, okay. well played. Well played. Not blinded by it. And and we do, though, right? I mean, we're so passionate. Right. We're so excited. Everybody else, nobody else seems to be getting on board, but it, it, it lots of red flags come up around us. And yet, we because we want it so bad, we could make a bad decision. We ignore those. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, we see it all the time in relationships. How many of us have had friends and thought, oh, this person is horrible for them, but they're so, they want the relationship so much. Then afterwards, they're like, how did I not see it? Mm. You know, like, well, you were blinded by passion. And I saw it happen recently in a hiring situation in a work environment. Very smart general manager who I admire very much hired the wrong person because she was taken in with the idea that this potential new employee knew so many people. Mm. But there were so many of us who saw danger signals about past work performance and uh, how do I say this? Uh, only a passing acquaintance with the truth. And we suggested that the hiring decision be put off. It wasn't. This person was hired for almost a year. The company had a rock around their neck. And that's what happens because we say, oh, this is going to be great. This is going to be fabulous. Don't, don't try to stop me. You're only trying to stop the, the train. And you're like, yes, because it looks to me like that train's going to hit that mountain. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, but you know, how do we how do we decide? I mean, there is a lot of passion, and a lot of times as entrepreneurs, we're following our gut instinct. Um, we're willing to take a few risks, be creative, look outside the box, and you know, even if logic sometimes says we should go this way. So, where's the balance in there? In there, Pam. Well, I think the first thing we have to do is have a good set of advisors, people who will tell us the truth, not yes men and women, not people feeding into our, our passion who are like, wow, whatever you say, that's a great idea. We need people who are saying to us, I think there's something missing here. I don't think you've done enough research. I don't think that message is going to resonate. And how many people do we have in our lives that we trust that will be that honest with us? Mm. That's the kitchen cabinet, right? Right, right. So that's... That's number one, and we have to listen to them. We may end up choosing to do it anyway, but we need to listen to them and say, are they right? Could they be right? And that, But they have to be people we trust. That's number one. Absolutely. Number two, 
we have to not be married to our idea. And this is the hard part because this is the part where you and your passion have to see each other for who you really are. Yeah, I'm not married at all <laughs> to the idea no, or not. anybody else. <laughs> And that's a whole subject for another show. Um, yeah, actually, um, I, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna call foul because he gets married to ideas all the time. Oh man! <laughs> yeah, and, and and he wants to move forward. And the thing is, passion is the engine, but you hold the map. And if you're going off in the wrong direction, passion's only going to get you there faster. So you have to make sure that you have to stop, you have to look at the map, you have to make map corrections, and if you have to ask if you're on the right road, and that's your advisory board that you're asking. Right. And if you are on the wrong road or you need to make a course correction, are you going to be able to do that? And that's a tough one because we say, well, you know, I've sunk a lot of time and money into this. I think we just need to keep going with it. But I, my father used to say, don't throw good money after bad. Okay? <laughs> yeah, that makes don't sense. Throw Right, and, and if circumstances have changed, if the market has changed, are you ready to change? And that's tough because we like the comfort of sameness. Mm. Yeah. You know, you're, you're hitting it close to home. You really yeah. are. Um, these are yeah. things that we really do deal with on a regular basis of, because we, we get these ideas, we get these little, you know, somebody you know, throws something in front of us, and we're going along our path, and all of a sudden we're like, ooh, well, maybe we should do that, or here's an idea, maybe we should implement this. But having that team around us, having kind of just having those um, checks and balances yeah. in place can keep, can keep us going in the right direction. Yeah, and one of the biggest places that you can make a mistake of letting your passion run away with you is in a negotiation because you want that thing so much that you're willing to give up all these other uh, things. And the other person on the side of the, the other side of the table knows that. They can sense it. Absolutely. And they're like, no, we can't give you that. And you're like, well, okay, I still want to do it. You That's know, why you should bring somebody else in perhaps to do negotiation. Yeah, isn't there a phrase like in a negotiation – you should never want it more than the other guy. Right. Something like that. Yeah, leave your desperation at the door. You you nailed it right at the top of the segment, uh, Pam, by saying that, that moderation in all things is the, the rule, should should be the rule. And uh, to be honest with you, despite my goofy little isms, uh, it, it's true. I mean, I, I totally agree with you. Yeah, and it's hard. It's hard because we are fueled by this passion, and we think, well, if I don't believe in it, then how can I get others to believe in it? Sure. But you have to stop for a second and saying, am I being realistic, or am I just following a dream that's all in my head? Oh, that's a tough one. And then there are days that sometimes it's just kind of fun to follow that dream, as long as uh, somebody else doesn't have to bankroll it, right? And they don't let you actually derail. Well, and you know what, not just bankroll, but your time. And, and I will say, I, I can almost guarantee that the two of you get approached a lot about different projects that, that people want you to be involved with, different directions that people want you to go, and you say, oh, that's a really good idea. But what you need is focus. Does it really match the mission that I'm on? And that's something we can talk about another time is, is the need for focus, because that's what stops us in many cases. Yeah, Love good it. stuff, Pam. Always, always great stuff. How do our listeners stay in touch and follow you? Well, I would love for you to, to get a hold of me at Pam at PamAtherton.com, and uh, we can sign you up for our newsletter, and uh, we'll have you find listen to our radio show, a AcloserLookRadio.com, where we talk to business leaders and authors and people like that all the time. Oh, fantastic. Fantastic. She is dynamite. If you haven't listened to her show, if oh. you haven't followed her on Facebook or her blogs or anything like that, you need to check her out. PamAtherton.com or send her an email. If you've got a great topic you'd like to hear Pam talk about here on the Experience Pros Radio Show or comment on about too much passion in what you do, Pam at PamAtherton.com. Pam, thanks for the thanks. Show, for the segment. We appreciate you. All right, thanks. Appreciate you guys, too. All right. Folks, don't go anywhere. When we come back, we've got more positive business talk. You're listening to Angel and Eric on the Experience Pros Radio Network. The Experience Pros are here to help you get your business right. To learn more, visit experiencepros.com. Hi, ladies. This is Angel, and I want to let you in on one of my favorite fashion secrets. It's my eyelashes. That's right, my eyelashes. I've been going to Carabella Studio for a full year, and ever since then, I've had nothing but compliments on my eyelash extensions from my friend Reggie at Carabella Studio. And my favorite part? No more daily hassle of applying and removing mascara. And all of the compliments I get. Get yours today. Call Carabella Studio today at 303-909-9585. 
That's 303-909-9585. And to ask for the Angel Eyes offer and get your new lashes for only $150. 303-909-9585. If printing is an essential part of your business day, then RMK Cartridge is your lifeline to success. Hi, this is Eric, and Angel and I wouldn't think of running our business without having RMK Cartridge on our speed dial. Remanufactured ink and toner cartridges are just the beginning. Free delivery and award-winning service, coupled with 30 to 50% savings over original manufacturer products, means that we're saving time, money, and space in the landfill all at once. Treat your printer to the best. Contact the guys at RMK Cartridge at 303-781-781. 2076 or on the web at rmkcartridge.com. Networking is full of myths. Bring lots of business cards. Be sure to meet at least 10 new people. Have your 30 second sales pitch ready. Ugh. Your network is your net worth, but only if you're networking with your A team. Take the guesswork out of your networking by joining Extreme Relationship Management. It's transforming the way people are networking. It's way more fun than drive by networking and doesn't waste your time handing out stacks of business cards. Check out ExtremeRelationshipManagement.com for their next event, ExtremeRelationshipManagement.com. Stop calling around looking for the best mortgage rates and call ALMC Mortgage. ALMC Mortgage matches you with the right mortgage for your needs every single time. Now's the right time to finance. Call ALMC Mortgage today at 303-696-6933. 303-696-6933. Check out today's current rates and questions you should ask about your mortgage at ALMCMortgage.com. ALMCMortgage.com. LMB number 1000-20432, NMLS number 266695. You can check the licensing status of your mortgage loan originator at dora.state.co.us. Orange Theory Fitness at Parker and Arapaho is the official fitness sponsor of the Experience Pros Radio Show. This is Angel, and Orange Theory is the energizing group fitness concept that is sweeping the nation. Experience the orange effect at the location Eric and I work out at. It's Orange Theory Fitness at Parker and Arapaho Road. You'll see more energy, visible toning, and extra calorie burn for up to 36 hours after your workout. Call for a free Saturday session at 303-645-4290. That's 303-645-4290. We'll see you at Orange Theory Fitness at Parker and Arapahoe Road. Revitalize, release stress, and empower with Karen Corona's healing and transformational programs. Karen is a master healer and a teacher with 30 years experience providing holistic healing treatments, coaching, yoga, meditation classes, and retreats. Receive the healing inner tools you need to achieve your goals. Call Karen today and get started. 303-725-1119. That's 303-725-1119. Mention this ad and receive a free yoga class or a $150 coupon toward her upcoming healing and transformational retreat in October, set in the lovely Nuevo Vallarta, Mexico. Call today, 303-725-1119, or visit online at karencorona.com. Bob Duco, today at 3 on KLZ 560. The Experience Pros Radio Show, where small business is big business and your business is our business. Follow them on Twitter.com slash Experience Pros. Now, back to Angel and Eric, the Experience Pros. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show with Angel and Eric. It's time for business tips and insights. And at this time every week, we get to hear from Tony Rayburn. With Extreme Relationship Management, our master networker. Hi, Tony. Hello, Experience Pros. How are you guys today? Tony, we're doing fantastic. Thanks for asking. What are we talking about today? Today is networking law number 103. And it's about taking someone aside at a networking event. Taking someone aside? Like to like pulling them out of the group for a private conversation? Angel, you got it perfect. Oh, so, I thought it was like taking them out to the barn. <laughs> well, that's exactly the point. See, you've got something you might need to tell someone at the event, but it's not for everyone to hear. So you feel this need to capture this person's attention and hold them by their elbow and walk, it, walk them to the edge of the room like a little kid who's about to get a spanking. <laughs> right. Is this okay? <laughs> the, the NFL well, says no. The NFL says no. Because this... Here's the thing. That person you're talking they don't even know what's about to be said. Do you even know them well enough to do that? Are they feeling threatened? Even if you feel completely at ease, you got to keep in mind that your victim's blood pressure just went up. Your victim's <laughs> blood pressure just went up. All right. Indeed. 
so instead, what you need to do is adopt a more professional approach. Okay, so first, realize a networking event is not necessarily the appropriate venue for a private conversation. Even if it's something simple, other people in the room will take notice, and they're going to think something's up. Mm. Yeah, because something is up. Right, don't give that impression if you're able to keep from it, okay? If it requires more than a few words for them to answer, consider a different setting to have this conversation. It could be a phone call, an email, a cup of coffee, whatever. Now, if you're there and you absolutely feel the urge to accomplish this, what you should do is simply ask the person if they have a quick moment and motion towards a less crowded area. A quick do not. But shouldn't you say a quick moment for why you're there? Yes, yes. Do not grab them and haul them over. Simply ask them. Say, do you have a quick moment? It's nothing bad. Now, if it is bad news, <laughs> nothing bad. If, it is bad, <laughs> if it is bad news, go somewhere else to talk about it. If it is bad news, don't do it at the public event. You got it exactly right. Now, if they say, sure, I've got a moment, what you do is you've got their permission now and you've elevated them to a peer status rather than a subordinate. So make sure you do this sparingly because the networking event is usually not the place to have a private conversation. All right, so Tony, let me see if I understand correctly. Uh, when we go to a networking event, Angel is no longer allowed to grab me by the elbow and take me outside uh, to, to, to discipline me, but must, she must wait until later when everybody's gone. Well, somehow I think Angel gets a hall pass with this. Uh, I, I am actually very good at mumbling under my breath with okay. a smile on my face <laughs> yeah. and saying, all right, you need to change that up immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody around. This is the wiser. Tony, I love what you bring because, uh, you know, at Extreme Relationship Management, you're all about the training. And, you know, the, these little tips, and by the way, you're at 103 of them and you have many, many more. How many tips do you have? There's 144 laws of networking. All right. These things are so important. And not only that, there's there's training, there's uh, networking like you've probably never experienced before through the E2 networking. Tony, T Tony, I know he's going to, but when when is the book coming out? You know what? The book should be coming out. My goal might be to get it done before the end of this year. I think you just took him by the elbow and pulled him aside. Oh, um, yeah, I kind of did. Right. It's good news. <laughs> it's, it's good, good news. news. It's, it's the good news. it's the hundred one hundred and forty four laws of networking. I mean that's a that's a book right there, Tony. It is, and we it's actually chapter seven of a larger book, but I think I'm going to pre release it on its own. And so I just got to get with uh, a couple of the awesome editing people we have within the network and and uh, make it just polished, super polished for everyone to be able to. to read. Tony, are you familiar with the prayer of uh, Jabez? Is that what I'm it's not called? sure that I am. Going to expand, expand your territory. It was originally part of a much larger book, and uh -huh. that one chapter, when it went to editing, um, they were told that one chapter in and of itself is the book, and it ended up becoming a bestseller. A nationwide bestseller, yeah. the shortest book you ever read. Lovely Tony, book. Do me, Lovely book. Do me a favor. Tell our listeners where, until the book comes out, they can contact you and get plugged into Extreme Relationship Management. Sure. Best way is to find us on the internet at extremerelationshipmanagement.com or they can call us nationwide toll free at 855-I-LIKE-ERM. 855-I-LIKE-ERM and by golly, I do. Uh, Tony, thanks for the, the tip. We appreciate you. You bet, team. Have a great day. All right. Now we're going to turn our attention to uh, Marcy Kaiser with C-Square Computer Consulting. She's going to give us another tip in our technology. All right. Marcy, welcome to the show. Well, thank you so much, Eric and Angel. Marcy, great to have you. What are we talking about today? Uh, we are talking about giving back. Um, we have uh, C squared has worked is working with Goodwill Industries of Colorado and Foothills Park and Rec, and we are doing a community electronics donation drive. And we want to get the word out so everyone is welcome to recycle and responsibly take care of their electronics. Oh, so this is uh, this is huge. recycling our, our electronics, like our old phones TVs. and printers and TVs and all of that? There is no, it, it is a no TV event. Okay. But yes, it's your computers, your monitors, your hard drives, your keyboards, your scanners, all of those things, including even toner and ink. Um, Goodwill Industries of Colorado has done an amazing job of... Um, being able to, they're, they're Microsoft registered refurbishers, which is a, a, it took them a long time to do this. We are very proud of About. what they've done there. And in conjunction with them, we want to get the word out um, that they, 
you can not only donate and get a receipt for your donation, but um, they will also can give you a certification um, letter saying that your um, stuff will be cleaned properly, your hard drives will be wiped. They go through a very rigorous um, system process through Goodwill Donation or Goodwill of Colorado. Love that. Um, and you can you can contact Goodwill, but you can also through us. Um, and the event is in October, so we are just really spreading the word to get people out there to be responsible with their re with their electronics, and um, to put it out there what Goodwill of Colorado is doing. It's amazing. It sounds amazing. Is there um, something we can post on our Facebook wall or a link to a website or anything, Marcy? I, I am I am sitting down doing that right now. Unfortunately, Chris was supposed to be calling in and doing this. But, um, <laughs> Like computers get viruses, so does people, and Chris is having a sick day today. Oh, oh God we're sorry bless to him. hear about I'm that. So yeah, sorry. But you know what, Marcy? You, you're killing it. You're doing a great job, and we're so grateful for your call. Uh, let us know how we can contact you for more information. You know what? You can check our um, Facebook page. I'm about to get the event put up. Um, the event is October 11th. Our Facebook page is C Squared Computer Consulting. Or, C Squared me, IT. Sorry. It's C squared IT. I'm sorry. <laughs> yep. Um, it should be up there here shortly. Um, also, you can always give us a call here at the office three zero three nine three three one 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 three. Three zero three nine three three one 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 three. Got Correct. it. Awesome. All right. Well, Marcy, we love what you're doing. I'll tell you, these these uh, technology recycle events are so important. You can't just throw that stuff in the no, trash can. Not. And you can't just discard it, especially if you're talking hard drives and computers and yep. anything that might have some personal data and information or office data and information on it. But C Square Computer Consulting, making sure that we're going to recycle and donate to a worthy cause. The phone number 303-933-1113. Marcy, we appreciate you, um, and we're looking forward to the post online. And please tell Chris, we hope he gets better soon. <laughs> Absolutely. Thanks so much. You betcha. Folks, don't go anywhere. We come back. More positive business talk. We're going to talk about what the difference is between your corporate job and being an entrepreneur. You're going to love it. The Experience Pros, revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. Nylon's Collision Center is an award-winning body shop that takes great care of you and your car. This matters when your insurance company wants to take shortcuts. Nylon's Collision Center only uses manufactured parts. This matters when a cheap, ill-fitting part is available. At Nylon's, it matters. If it's not perfect, it's not leaving. 303-761-9219. 303-761-9219. Gain your own insight into the leading cause of divorce, money. Pick up your copy of Couples Money at couplesmoney.com and discover you're not alone in your financial struggles. Couples Money is written by a married couple in the financial industry, Chris and Marlo Felton. They share their personal story of financial transformation and insights they've gained from working with thousands of couples. Couples Money, what every couple should know about money and relationships, is available at Amazon or at couplesmoney.com. Get on the same page with your spouse with easy-to-follow concepts and action steps proven to work. Couples Money at CouplesMoney.com. Attention business owners. If you're waiting 30 to 60 days or more to get paid, Riviera Finance can turn your invoices into immediate cash flow. Let them help. Their process is simple and no debt is created. Riviera Finance is located right here in Denver. They've been helping companies across the U.S. for over 40 years. So if you bill on credit but need better cash flow, call Jack Loudon at Riviera Finance now at 303-409-7706. That's 303-409-7706. Or visit Riviera Finance. When you work from home, you run the risk of setting up a makeshift workspace in the corner or somewhere off to the side of your bedroom. It's not really a home office. It just happens to be your office at home. Let Helene's Designs help you create a productive workspace that transforms you from hobbyist into an innovative CEO ready to be featured in a magazine spread. Take charge of your home office and call Helene's Designs. You're the CEO. Make sure your home office looks like it. 720-233-7302. 720-233-7302. Run a business and... 
have a life. You got into business so you could enjoy life, and Employer Essentials can help. They keep up with the ever-changing payroll and employment laws and requirements, as well as all those employee management issues. Employer Essentials is the answer you've been looking for to add payroll and HR solutions that offer you peace of mind and the time to do what you want to do. Employer Essentials, Denver's trusted local payroll and HR provider for 15 years. EmployerEssentials.com or 303-734-9436. Hi, this is Eric, and I want to talk to you about my friends over at McDonald Volvo. This family-owned business has been delivering extreme customer service for almost 50 years right here in our neighborhood. With upfront worry-free pricing and super personalized service, your best car buying experience is at McDonald Volvo. General Manager Will Routon is a great friend, and he wants to meet you personally. Call him at 303-738-4803. That's 303-738-4803, and tell him the pros sent you. The Dana Show, tonight at 7 on KLZ 560. Dennis Miller here. Be sure to tune in for the Dennis Miller Show, where we talk politics, entertainment, and everything in between. Our guests are the best you'll hear on radio. It's radio you can trust right here on the Dennis Miller Show. Tonight at 10 p.m., it's the Dennis Miller Show, right here on KLZ 560. The experienced pros want to help you get your business right. Have you joined the revolution? Visit meetup.com slash the revolution and become a business revolutionary. And now, back to Eric and Angel on the Experience Pros Radio Show. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show with Angel and Eric. Very nice to have you along with us. Thanks for taking time out of your business day to join us for this the most inspirational hour or two of your entire work day. So are you thinking about quitting your day job and starting your own business? How exciting would that be? That would be so exciting. You start dreaming of all the possibilities and what your new schedule will be and, you know, being your own boss and the flexibility. It's time for your reality check. It is time for your reality check. Um, Amanda Argue on uh, LinkedIn, she just recently quit her corporate America job to become an entrepreneur. That's her name, Amanda Argue? It is. You can never lose. (laughs) She did a fun little comparison between corporate America versus entrepreneurship. And the first thing she talks about is the typical work week. And you know what this is like in corporate America. It's Monday through Friday, 8 to 5-ish, 40 to 50 hours a week. You get a lunch break in the middle of the day, 30 minutes to an hour. Yeah. And typically on Fridays... Most people kind of cut out working by by lunchtime on Fridays. Well, let's talk about what it's like for an entrepreneur. Your work week is like this, Monday through Sunday, whenever you feel it's best to work. As your idea or company is always on your mind, you find a way each day to daydream, work, set up something new, no matter what day of the week it is. In other words, you're constantly working. Every day is different from the last, and each approach changes. Basically, your week is like this, Monday, Monday number two, Monday number three, Monday number four, Friday, Saturday, and pre-Monday. All right. How about this? How about your to-do list? When you work for Corporate America, you can easy, easily list out five to ten things you want to accomplish today. You have a general idea of how long each task will take. Absolutely. When you're an entrepreneur, you have absolutely no idea what to put down on the piece of paper in front of you. As it looks blankly back at you, you come up with 30 to 50 things you need to do today and become completely overwhelmed with the thought that nothing might actually get done. <sighs> How about your boss, right? You're going to be your own boss. In corporate America, you pretty much you know exactly who your boss or bosses are, what their expectations are from you, you know, what time you need to show up from work, how quickly you need to answer emails, the progress you need to show them, um, the accountability is all built in. Yeah, when you're an entrepreneur, your bosses change a little bit. They're comprised of the following. Your family, they're always asking, how are things going? What's the status? Your social media friends, uh, your business partner, feeling like they're scrutinizing everything you're doing at each moment, not making enough sales, not progressing with the business, making wrong decisions, and yourself, which is the hardest to work with in the first You know, I also, I remember even thinking that even the customer, because now you didn't have one boss, you know, for every customer you felt like they were now the boss of you Absolutely. as well. All right, how about your credentials? In order to, to get your job in corporate America, you probably need a college degree, maybe even something special like a master's program or a specific certification. All right, right. Uh, when you're an entrepreneur, uh, who's in your network and how much money they have raised, that's the entire credential. 
it's a badge of honor to work in this world. All right, how about in sales? In corporate America, if you're fortunately in the world of sales in corporate America, chances are you'll have an entire an entire brand, an entire company, and already a built-in reputation behind you to help add trust and value to what you are selling. Therefore, you're not a complete cook when trying to pitch a product or a service. And when you're an entrepreneur, you have absolutely none of those things mentioned above. You're pretty much selling a new product with a new brand, a company that has nobody, nobody's ever heard of. The best piece of advice they've learned so far is fail. Fail fast so that you can actually learn what doesn't work and move into what does work. Also, selling is scary. Get over it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How about freedom? Isn't that what we're after? In corporate America, you're constantly trying to get as much freedom as possible. Um, you're trying to always work from home, come in early, um, you know, come in early so you can leave early, take coffee breaks even if you don't drink coffee or maybe even a smoking break if you don't smoke um, and scheduling your vacation time a year in advance in advance and the little those little tiny little freedoms are what get you through your day absolutely and don't be dissuaded uh, when you're an entrepreneur you can literally do whatever you want whenever you want however you want to do it and though this may seem like a blessing it's also a brutal curse you wake up and feel as if the whole day is ahead of you, and you realize it's already 4 p.m. and you haven't even completed one item on your to-do list. You spent the entire time consuming information about how to do that particular task on your a task on your list. Time runs much faster and is completely controlled by you. What you do with that time will ultimately aid in your success or failure. All right. Now distractions at work. When you're at work in there corporate are distractions America. Distractions at work. Yes. Yes. Oh. Not women. Oh, no, 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 I, no, no, no. Go ahead. No, in corporate you mean America. Like people talking to you. Sorry. Are you distracting me? Maybe. Do you want? To, no, no. Go you ahead. You just want to distract me, or do you want to talk to me? No, I was. Or is that the same thing? I was illustrating. You were illustrating. People come and interrupt you at work. Sorry. Go ahead. Uh, but at work at corporate America, the distractions can be fun because they provide breaks during the day. Um, it's a fun way to you know track down what other people are doing. Um, and the best part. Most of what you're getting paid for during those distractions, like you're still getting paid no matter what you're doing because you're at work. Right. When you're an entrepreneur, people get irritated if you distract them. <laughs> I've got work to do. <laughs> <laughs> distractions could be the end of your business, literally. If you're spending all the time uh, in Netflix, Twitter, Facebook, chances are your business is suffering from the lack of attention and you're suffering from lack of motivation. Give me an example. Last Friday, the author of this uh, uh, article woke up, looked through their emails, no messages from any potential customers, proceeded on to Facebook. After four hours spent on the Facebook, she came across a Business Insider article depicting the statistics of the book Fifty Shades of Grey. Then she proceeded to purchase the book, spent the rest of the afternoon and the evening reading the book that has nothing to do with entrepreneurship, business, startup, sales, even general marketing. <laughs> wow, what a day to spend a day at the office. <laughs> and uh, by the way, she recently came acro across a quote from an entrepreneur that says, Stop watching Lost. You know the series Lost on television? It's no longer on, but oh. yeah. You get, right. you get, it's a squirrel. It's a squirrel. It's a distraction. All right, how about this? Your eating schedule. When you work in corporate America, you typically have breakfast the same time every day, seven, you know, around 7 a.m. You have a little snack at 10 a.m., lunch, noon to 1, another little snack break in the 3 in the afternoon, and dinner, you know, 6 or 7 o'clock at night, and repeat the next day. It's basically exactly the same as an entrepreneur. You eat whenever you're hungry. You recognize you haven't eaten in hours. Here's what the uh, typical schedule is. Breakfast is uh, about 11 to 11.10. Lunch starts at 3.40, gets over at 4.20. Snack from 7 to 7.45. Dinner happens at 11 uh, p.m. to 11.30 and snack in the middle of the night sometime. Sometimes, yeah. And actually, sometimes you can go, when was the last time I ate? Oh, I actually sat down and that had a meal. You. Yeah. you know, especially in networking. I'll go to a networking event or something and there's always snacks, but then I'll realize, okay, I had an olive and a cracker. Yeah, that does not constitute dinner. a well-balanced meal. All right, your dress code in corporate America. The dress code for all work environments, it's usually pretty professional. Dress pants, button-down shirt, belt, clean cut, you know, makeup, business suits, pressed clothes. Entrepreneurs, PJs and bunny slippers. <laughs> Unless you have to go out networking. And then please take a shower. And <laughs> brush your teeth. Please. <laughs> oh, all right. So 
lots of different changes to um, you know corporate America versus being an entrepreneur. Both very fulfilling, um, but two very different lifestyles. I think I want to um, I want to follow Amanda argue. You want it? You, mm -hmm. you, I don't think you should argue with her. No. There are 102 comments. You can never win. On, on this post. So um, difference between, you know, Ted, this was her, um, her topic on LinkedIn, 10 little known facts about quitting your corporate job. So don't just jump off the bandwagon and, uh, and think it's going to be exactly the same. It, there are some challenges, but there are definitely Guess some what? perks in two. It's worth it. Hey, when we come back, we're going to talk to Lisa Mannion. Guess she was going to tell us to get our creativity on, and she's got a message for us. Get cash quick. Coming up next on the Experience Pros Radio Network. The Experience Pros are here to help you get your business right. To learn more, visit experiencepros.com. Join business owners and leaders from across the front range for an incredible leadership event featuring John Maxwell, Linda Kaplan-Taylor, and Tim Sanders as they share valuable lessons in leadership. Network with other leaders during this half-day simulcast on Friday, October 10th from 8.30 to 1 p.m. at the Embassy Suites in Stapleton. L2 Learn Lead is here. The event is perfect for people who are busy running a business, family, or organization and are looking to become more effective. Leadership isn't just for those who have a team working for them, it's for you. The first 100 people to register on Eventbrite get tickets for only $69. That's Eventbrite slash L2 Stapleton. Eventbrite slash L2 Stapleton. Join us Friday, October 10th at the Embassy Suites in Stapleton. Back to school is just like back to work. Families relocate, businesses open new offices, and you need to order new phone lines, equipment, and internet connections. Hi, this is Eric, encouraging you to do what we did. Call Lori White and Lori Ann Communications and let her do it all for you. From phone lines to cable installation, Lori's your phone gal. She's always ready to serve your back to work needs. Call Lori today, 303 419 3415. That's 303 419 3415 or online at lauriancom.com. That's L O R I A N C O M M.com. Do you want to meet some new people, make some great connections, and network with other business owners? Call me, Penny, today at 303-220-0366 or go to theconnectingexperts.com. Connecting people to people. When you need a medical expert witness or someone to consult in your medical cases, you need MediPro Solutions. Let's face it, attorneys are busy and typically don't have the time to research the details of the medical aspects of every case. At MediPro Solutions, your medical legal consulting firm, they take care of every detail, leaving you and your lawyers to focus on the law. MediPro Solutions is owned and operated by licensed and board certified physicians. When your case is on the line, call MediPro Solutions, 303-502-6735. That's 303-502-6735. Or online at MediProSolutions.com. Gain your own insight into the leading cause of divorce, money. Pick up your copy of Couples Money at CouplesMoney.com and discover you're not alone in your financial struggles. Couples Money is written by a married couple in the financial industry, Chris and Marlo Felton. They share their personal story of financial transformation and insights they've gained from working with thousands of couples. Couples Money, what every couple should know about money and relationships, is available at Amazon or at couplesmoney.com. Get on the same page with your spouse with easy-to-follow concepts and action steps proven to work. Couples Money at couplesmoney.com. Tell your staff to tune in daily to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Business training and inspiration from national experts are here for you every day on the Experience Pros Radio Show. Start your week off by learning a great new business skill. Tune in midweek to boost your positive attitude and be sure to always end your week with Fan Dragon Friday. The Experience Pros Radio Show is here for you every day, changing the way people treat people in business. Join the revolution and tune in to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Weekday business training designed to inspire you to get your business right. Wake up with Randy Corcoran, 5 to 8 tomorrow morning on KLZ 560. The Experience Pros Radio Show, home of the original Fan Bragging Fridays. Take just 20 seconds to become a revolutionary by sharing a Fan Bragging story of great customer service on Facebook.com slash Experience Pros. Now, back to Angel and Eric, the Experience Pros. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show. You need money, you need cash, you need something quick. 
You need Lisa Mannion. Well, we all need a Lisa Mannion because she is the business marketing architect. You want to make sure that you are powerfully communicating your marketing message to your clients and getting increased results. Check out her blog at writeoncreative.com. It's the word right, W-R-I-T-E, writeoncreative.com. And you'll get a free copywriting action plan from Lisa. She tunes in or she participates in the Experience Pros Radio Show once a month with great tips. And today we're talking about how you can create cash quickly. Hi, Lisa. Hey, Angel. Hi, Eric. It's so great to be here. Lisa, as always, it's a privilege to have you on the show. We love uh, all the tips that you bring. How, how can we get a jump start on this, uh, get some quick cash now? Well, here's the thing. In business, if we're not planning our paydays, sometimes the cash flow can become inconsistent, and money is pretty important. <laughs> yeah, <you know. laughs> I like that idea of planning our paydays. I've never heard right. it worded that way. Yeah, so um, I think it's really important that we realize that this takes consistent action. And so what often happens is people panic, right, if they're not meeting their projections. So if maybe they haven't been sending out ships, meaning they been con not, haven't been connecting with their key contacts, that things might not be that consistent. So there are three ways that are really pretty simple to create cash quick. All right. Okay. I'm going to take notes on this because uh, I can't be out of money. I still have checks left. Go ahead. Well, yeah, that's um, kind of <laughs> crucial. So. Right? <laughs> so first of all, it's the telephone. Call. Pick up the phone and call your contacts, but don't just do it when you're short on cash. Do this regularly so that you're strengthening those relationships. And I know you've both heard me say in the past that marketing is all about relationships. You bet. It's true. So if you don't nurture those relationships and stay in contact, well, I mean, chances are if you're in a bind and then you make a last-minute call to somebody that you haven't connected with in a really long time, they might not be as excited to help you make the connections you need. Okay, so at least I get the idea that we're we're calling, we're building that relationship, but I think sometimes like we don't even know what to say and how do we do that because really what's going on, the little voice inside my head is give me money. Hey give me Angel, money. It, it's me, Eric, and I, would you can I can I borrow five bucks? Can 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 you can you buy something today? I mean really that's yeah, that's what we're thinking. Know, this this happens. And I think that's our, you know, it's our internal self-chatter because we feel like, um, well, we get trapped into some negative energy that we buy into sort of the scarcity me mentality. And we yes. also buy into the belief that um, we shouldn't be asking. And that really comes from the situation of not consistently creating those connections. So the second step is really to just connect. And when you connect, do it from really from your heart. I'm just going to get straight to the heart of the matter. Be real. Ask what's happening with the people you're connecting with. Ask how you can also be of service and strengthen those relationships. And then you can let them know what, what's going on with you. I mean, for example, I recently had this very interesting conversation with a woman who was sent to me from a preferred referral partner and she needed a Mannion Marketing Web Makeover. Well, I immediately picked up the phone and called her because she was sent from a preferred referral partner. She was amazed that I called. She said she thought that it might take years to get in to do business with me, and I was able to book her the next week because I have room for four of those on my schedule. But just because I'm speaking places and doing all these different things, sometimes there's the perception that I'm not available, so I need to let people know I am. Yeah, at least I just want you to Good say point. preferred referral partner and Mannion Marketing, what? what? <laughs> Makeover. Say those well, two so, in the same sentence again. So preferred referral partners are basically people that um, know, like, and trust me, and they send business to me on a regular basis. Love and that. so as such, um, their referrals get VIP treatment. And I they get the, the Mannion Marketing Makeover. Oh, Mannion Marketing Web Makeover. I review website content and strategy to help people get better results online. It's just fun to say. You, yeah, fun stuff to say, which means it's right. fun to refer to. Because, oh, you need a Mannion Marketing Makeover. I do. Everybody needs a Mannion Marketing Makeover. We're all just going to start I singing that today. it could be true because we're always growing and evolving, right? Right. So it's important to change. Okay, so step number one, call. Step number two, connect with the people authentically. Uh, yeah. what, what must be step number three? Well, step number three, it's simple but not always easy. Continue. 
Yes. Continue to do this. Make calls to people you're already connected with because it's fun to find out what's happening with them. And you may actually uncover or create opportunities you didn't even realize existed. Lisa, this is going to be one of our favorite segments for all time because it is so important. We tell our staff all the time, you know, you you're, you're get a, a success, that's great, you make a sale, that's fantastic, but you've got to keep that connection going, and you just said it, because you can either uncover or create new opportunities. Yeah, and I mean, don't we all want that? I think we do. And the, I think one of the missing pieces to business today is really just communication and being really clear about intent and engaging in a way that creates those relationships. Because truthfully, it really is all about relationships. People are not going to do business with you if they don't enjoy you and if you're not over-delivering. And it's so powerful, this phone call, because I think it's – really easy for us to send a mass email right to an entire database and say hey how can I help you I want to build a relationship with you and and it's a mass email and they know it and you haven't really reached out right and then we're upset because nobody replied back all right why would they you didn't put any effort into it um, I think we want to just sit at our sit at our um, computers in the privacy in the quiet and just send posts or emails or texts um, but really the number one thing that Lisa said is you're picking up that phone, you're connecting with people in a way that can only be done voice to voice. Yeah. It's so true, and that's why I offer members of the Write on Creative community an opportunity to schedule a complimentary 15-minute connection call with me so I can get to know who they are and what they really want. And I'm excited that they subscribe and get my messages that I send regularly, but I like to take it beyond there. I like to know who's reading what I'm sending out and what I can do to support them. Well, you you kill it every every time you come on this. I'm gonna hereby dub you the queen of alliteration. Uh, I, I just think you're you're brilliant in everything that you do. Let Let's talk just for a second. You said something earlier uh, that that got me thinking, and I know that you've written about this. Um, when you need quick quick cash, the first thing you need to do is release some of that desperate energy, right? Yes. That's really important, and, you know, Angel touched on that a little bit. It's that guilty piece inside of us that feels like we're just reaching out because we need that to create that cash or generate that money. And honestly, we have to let go of that. Yeah. It's about the connection. And if we let that negative self-talk take over and that negative energy, it will impact not only that specific phone call but our entire day. Oh, and it really does. And you know, if we if we have these good intentions, we really are trying to build a relationship and to connect with people. The authenticity comes out, Absolutely. and you are attracting then the right type of people that you want to do business with and build that relationship with. Lisa, please give your contact information for our listeners who want to follow up with you. Absolutely, they can visit writeoncreative.com, and as Angel, Angel mentioned earlier, it's w r i t e o n c r e a t i v e dot com. Check out the blog section. I have a lot of free resources there. Uh, sign up to be a member of the Write On Creative community. You'll get some free goodies and the opportunity to schedule a 15-minute conversation with me. And order your Manion Marketing, Marketing Makeover. makeover. <laughs> I love yes, it. do that too. <laughs> Lisa, we love you. Thanks so much for taking time out of your day to join us. Oh, love you both. Thanks. All right. All right. All right. Tune in uh, next month for Lisa's, Lisa's tips. She gives valuable stuff every month. Absolutely, right on creative.com. You know, she she makes all kinds of sense in the world, and I think uh, and she's fun. She is fun, and, and she's beautiful. Business be fun, right? I think that's it. You know, when we talked about and compare corporate versus entrepreneurship, um, fun. They didn't talk about the fun, and I think that the highs are high when you're an entrepreneur. The lows are low. Yeah. But I think we have so much fun built into our day. Absolutely, we do have to take a uh, top of the hour station ID here, uh, but the good news is we've got a whole nother hour of great positive business talk coming up next. You, uh, you, you don't want to go anywhere. In fact, while we're going into this commercial break, why don't you turn up the volume and remember to do business with the people who do business with the pros. That really does make a difference in their day. And If you'd like to be one of the people who does business with the pros, why don't you give us a shout out at fanbrag at experiencepros.com. That's fanbrag at experiencepros.com. 
This has been the Experience Pros Radio Show with business revolutionaries Angel Tussey and Eric Raymer. For more information, you can contact Experience Pros by calling 720-344-2446 or visit them on the web at experiencepros.com, facebook.com slash experiencepros, and twitter.com slash experiencepros. What are you waiting for? Join the revolution. The Dennis Miller Show, tonight at 10 on KLZ 560. There seems to be a lot of talk about the war on women today. And you know what? I don't think it means what they think it means. Do you? Let's talk about what women really care about today. What keeps us up at night? What weighs on our hearts every day? This is Molly Vogt. I invite women and men to join me and my fellow Americhick, Kim Munson, this Sunday from 4 to 6 as we get to the heart of the matter on the real war on women. 24 seconds. I timed it. It took me just 24 seconds to find a AAA certified master mechanic who offers the best peace of mind warranty in the state. A three-year, 36,000-mile warranty on every repair. At coloradoselect.org, I search my city and boom, I'm done. Colorado Select Auto Care puts their member shops through a rigorous set of requirements so I know no matter which shop I choose, I'll get the best auto repair service possible. That's 24 seconds well spent. ColoradoSelect.org. KLZ AM 560, KLZ HD Denver, and online streaming at KLZ560Radio.com. This is KLZ 560. Freedom. Liberty. Truth. This is the Blaze Radio News. I'm John the Master. Now we face the Islamic State, uh, uh, something new and even more dangerous. A former ambassador to Iraq and Syria says there's no way ISIS will be defeated without America taking the lead. Speaking during a House Intelligence Committee hearing, Ryan Crocker saying the Al-Qaeda offshoot grows more dangerous every day. Its ambitions know no bounds. So we must show leadership. Uh, we must confront uh, a menace and a threat that we really have never seen before. The terrorist group threatening to take more American hostages in Syria and Iraq if the U.S. continues their strikes. Meantime, police in Australia say they've stopped a plot to carry out beheadings by supporters of ISIS. Police arresting 15 people after raids at about a dozen places in Sydney. Police also issuing a warrant for the arrest of a man believed to be ISIS's most senior person in Australia. This is news on the Blaze Radio Network. Cloud may be just another overused buzzword, but the cloud is an effective computing environment that can save your business time and money. Barracuda Networks is no stranger to the cloud. In fact, all of our security and storage solutions connect to the cloud for continuous updates and off-site redundancy. Barracuda's cloud also plays host to our email security, web security, file sharing, and e-signing services. We even offer solutions on Amazon's AWS and Microsoft's Azure public cloud platforms. To try any of our cloud-connected solutions free, visit barracuda.com cloud. Have you heard? Proactive Plus is faster and better than ever. Stay tuned for a million bottle giveaway and you'll also receive free shipping. With Proactive Plus, your acne can heal and you can help prevent new breakouts. Don't miss this limited time offer. We're going to let a million people try Proactive Plus risk-free and get two free gifts and also receive free shipping when you call right now. Call 800-388-2836. That's 800-388-2836. You've been listening to The Blaze Radio News on KLZ 560. Wake up with Randy Corcoran, early mornings at 5 on KLZ 560. You're listening to the Experience Pros Radio Show, brought to you by Mass Mutual Colorado. Experience Pros, where business revolutionaries Angel Tussey and Eric Raymer, best-selling authors of lists that save my business, and founders of Experience Pros University, are inspiring you to get your business right. Let's join Angel and Eric for today's program. Hello and welcome to the Experience Pros Radio Show with Angel and Eric. Very nice to have you along with us today. We're here to remind you that small business is big business and your business is our business. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to switch it up. I am going to bring the news. I know you are just, it's just killing you, right? I have to You're bring like, the news. I've got to, got to find something. I've got to find something odd. 
that I can bring and call it my aggressive journalism. Well, I don't know how odd this is, but you might find that it's a compliment to everything that we do here at the Experience Pro Radio Show. You see, uh, yesterday in uh, Abilene, Texas, my family lived in Abilene, Texas for a long, long time, uh, a Chick-fil-A customer going through the drive-thru handed out 10 $100 bills paid $1,000 to feed all the cars behind him. Really? Right? You've heard it happen over at Starbucks all the sure, time. Sure, you pay for right? the one guy behind you. Right? You know, I'm going to pay for the, the guest behind me. I'm going to pay for their, their lunch, their coffee, their meal. A man only identified as John. John Doe. I don't know if it was Doe or not. Uh, apparently, Doe. $1,000. Oh, I got it. You get yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, John. John Money. Uh, John Money uh, gave uh, $1,000 explaining that he wanted to pay for the drive through customers in line behind him. One lady uh, actually cried because she'd had a tough day. That happens. Uh, it obviously made news. And uh, the franchise owner, Brian LaCroix, uh, LaCroix, says that donation lasted for about an hour, paid for about 88 cars. And, uh, and how cool is that? That is. You know, is. I just want to remind people, our concept called Fan Bragging Friday uh, is the pay it forward in small business, but this still happens, and it's, uh, it's the best part of humanity, in, in, uh, in, in, and now it's in the business news. And so what do you think about my news today? There's goodness out there. Right. There's really good stuff out there. And I think that, you know, people really want to take care of other people and help each other and lift each other up and do something good. Um, and it isn't just all about being selfish and entitlement and you offended me. That There are. And we don't hear those stories often enough because the negativity tends to be the news. Um, I actually read on a, a a response back from a news station and people are saying why do you always share the negative why don't you share some of the the positive and the good stuff right. and the response was is that you know the good stuff isn't news it's kind of what happens every day it's when something unique happens that makes it news and then that tends to be the negativity well then why don't you just take a bath in your dirty water so, <laughs> um, so the fact that this, this these stories do get out and they do circulate and we can read them I think restores our faith in humanity a little bit um, because it's being just picked at all a day long we do have our little way of promoting the business world and lifting them up with Van Bragan Friday and it happens every Friday here on the Experience Pros Radio Show you say something nice about somebody else in business I mean it is that simple right. I like doing business with John over at Chick-fil-A. Whoever it is, what business it is, it doesn't have to be in your state. It doesn't even have to be somebody who's involved with the Experience Pros Network. Anybody who you like to do business with, say something nice. You can do it on our uh, Facebook or on our experience, yes, our Facebook wall, Experience Pros. Um, but we love those phone calls, 855 fan brag. It's a toll free number. You say something nice about somebody else in business, and we will pay it forward and we will do something great Absolutely. for somebody else. Absolutely. Hey, were you born to lead or are you built to lead? We'll answer that question on the other side of these commercials. We'll be back. You're listening to Angel and Eric on the most positive business talk show in America. The Experience Pros, revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. Where do you go when the bank says no? Every business needs money, and yours is probably no different. What's that you say? Your bank backed out on a commitment to you? Our friend Steve Replin has the answers to your financial questions. Steve's new book, Where to Go When the Bank Says No, is the authoritative guide to finding you the money you need now. Where to Go When the Bank Says No, available right now at hardmoneybooks.com. That's hardmoneybooks.com. Where do you go when the bank says no? Hardmoneybooks.com. Design, implement, and support. If you have a computer, a cell phone, or a tablet, you have a network. Hi, this is Eric, and I've got great news for you. Your network has a guy. For the last 15 years, Brad Binkley of Binkley IT has served his clients without killing their budget. Brad can effectively manage a network of up to 50 computers, typically for about two to four hours a week. Huge savings, no sacrifice. Call Brad today for your next IT partner, 720-254-1057. That's 720-254-1057. Binkley IT, solving the IT puzzle one piece at a time. 
Would you know what to do if a coworker started to feel dizzy and complain of chest pains? Starting CPR while waiting for an ambulance to arrive can double the chance of the victim's survival. Safety Solved can help. We provide customized on-site training, including both professional and basic CPR. PR, AED, and first aid with American Red Cross and American Heart Association trainings. We also facilitate first aid kit and AED equipment programs. Let us make your safety and wellness programs complete. Call today, 303-257-9589. That's 303-257-9589. Or online at safety-solved.com. Make sure your marketing strategy includes search engine optimization and contact Colorado SEO at coloradoseo.com. You'll find a team of experts who have been connecting consumers online since 1996. You've created a commodity, now get found. ColoradoSEO.com, ColoradoSEO.com or call 303-990-5934. Remember, billions are searching. Will they find you? When you need a medical expert witness or someone to consult in your medical cases, you need MediPro Solutions. Let's face it, attorneys are busy and typically don't have the time to research the details of the medical aspects of every case. At MediPro Solutions, your medical legal consulting firm, they take care of every detail, leaving you and your lawyers to focus on the law. MediPro Solutions is owned and operated by licensed and board certified physicians. When your case is on the line, call MediPro Solutions, 303-502-6735. That's 303-502-6735. Or online at MediProSolutions.com. Random online searching is one way to find a good company, but an even better way is to choose the companies that are listed on the Extreme Customer Service Directory. This elite list of companies have one thing in common. They offer extreme customer service. Their customers are bragging about them, and that's what sets them apart. Trust the companies listed on the Extreme Customer Service Directory to take care of you. Extreme Customer Service Directory at experiencepros.com slash directory. experiencepros.com slash directory. If you have an old car that spews out stinky exhaust smoke, donate it to the Clear the Air Foundation. Learn more at cleartheairfoundation.org. Sponsored by the Colorado Automobile Dealers Association and aired in cooperation with the Colorado Broadcasters Association and this station. Bob Duco, today at 3 on KLZ 560. The Experience Pros Radio Show, where small business is big business and your business is our business. Follow them on Twitter.com slash Experience Pros. Now, back to Angel and Eric, the Experience Pros. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Thanks for taking time out of your business day to join us for hours. Are you born to lead or are you built to lead? That, that is the question. That is the question on deck. There's a brand new book out called Built to Lead, Seven Management Rewards, Principles for Becoming a Top 10% Manager. And if you buy in to the quote about Zig Ziglar when he said, you can have anything you want in life if you first help others get what they want, you're going to love our next guest, David Long, the founder and CEO of My Employees. David, welcome to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. David, very nice to have you. You're the founder and CEO of My Employees. What? I, th I thought I had the, the My Employees. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I love uh, it. I'm just I'm just messing with you. Hey, let's I uh, that. let's just talk just a, a smidge. Built or born? I, I thought there were born leaders. There are, no doubt, but most people don't aren't born with it, so they have to work at it. <laughs> All right. So I wrote the book. All right. Actually, I can give you I can give you a good statistic of why you need to work at it because for every 100 employees, and this is across the board by the way from World at Work surveys, and they said for every 100 employees, only six or seven of them ever become manager at all. And of those six or seven, less than one ever gets promoted to the second level. So there, you can see there's a massive failure rate. So that's why. All right. So, but when we are hiring people, I don't think we're thinking of hiring leaders. Like when we hire them, it's probably like the low rung on the the, the job pole. Does that make sense? Of course it does. You don't really get to know them. Everybody, some people are really good at interviewing, but they stink it up when they get on the job. So yeah, you never know what you've got until they're there. That's true. Well, you may not even be hiring leaders, but I certainly think that we don't think that we're hiring losers. And, and uh, yeah. there, there again, <laughs> is uh, is another question. So. What? Let's just go back to Zig Ziglar's quote, right? To get what you want in life, you, you got to help enough uh, others to get what they want. We agree with that. We buy into that. But with that in mind, in your opinion, what's the difference between manipulation and motivation? 
Manipulation, of course, is for your own self-serving interests. Motivation is because you care about the individual. In my opinion, that sums it up <laughs> pretty good. Okay, but but now let me, let me just jump to the other side of the fence there for a minute, okay. uh, Dave, because uh, maybe you said manipulation is, is when you are trying to self-serve. What if we're trying to serve the company, the, 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 the mission of the company? Is that too self-service? Well, no, not really. I mean, they're obviously both the manager and the employee should be doing something to help the company. That's why they're there. But the individual as a manager who has to use a cattle prod to get people to do what they want to do, that's not good. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it's so much, you're much more motivated when you're drawn to doing something, when you're drawn to a leader that you feel like and you, you really want to support because you care about that individual. Uh, you get, you're going to get a lot more productive and productivity out of your employees if that's the case. Okay, so you know we're typically, according to the st statistics that you shared, we are not mm -hmm. hiring great leaders. You know, people that are going to become these great managers. Is there a way that we can build them up and change that statistic drastically? Very much so. Uh, one of the principles uh, I have seven rewards principles, and rewards is an acronym. And the second one being the E is education. And in this case, it's not sending your employees to school. It's what I do. I created about a decade ago is a book club that we do once a week from 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock. Half the company, we have 45 roughly employees now. Half the company comes in at 11 o'clock, pardon me, at 10 o'clock on Wednesday and the other half the next day at 10 o'clock. And what we do is I've bought everybody books. I pass them out. And I said, read chapter one, here's a high letter notebook, do a chapter summary, come in here next week, and we're going to talk about that chapter and what you got out of it. So each person does that, and as a result, through time, we've been doing this a decade, people step forward, and that's the third chapter with a W, which is winners emerge. And that's where your leaders begin to shine, and it's pretty easy to, to figure out who are the leaders in your book clubs. How, what a neat idea to start a book club at work. Um, everybody's reading the same book. You're all on the same page. You're all developing mm -hmm. and growing. And we love the concept. I think that you know, self self learning through a book. It's not the same thing as having your boss come in and say, "Okay, here's this concept that I read, and I want you to embrace it." I think we're very yeah. receptive when we read about it in the book. Can I ask you, David, what book you guys are sure. reading this week? We actually just finished. Uh, the actual first, it's kind of ironic that you asked that because it's the very first book we started with, which is Dr. Tony Zeiss, who is the president, and he's a friend and mentor of mine now, uh, of Central Piedmont Community College in Charlotte, North Carolina. Now, that may not sound like a big deal, but that is, he's the president of the largest community college network in the country. He's a very sharp individual. Well, I, I read his book, and I thought to myself a decade ago, I said, Dave, man, your employees will really benefit from this. So that's why I bought everybody a copy. I passed it around, and we started our book clubs back then, and we just went back. We've added so many employees. Now we, we only had 12 uh, employees back then, including myself. So now we've, we've quadrupled that roughly. Wow. So we decided we'd go back and reread that same book. And I'm going to tell you, it's a great book. And it's, I'm actually thinking about helping them reprint it because it's actually out, out of print now. Wow. Well, look at that. And so we keep building it forward and, and lifting up other yep. people. So now David's book that we are talking about today is Built to Lead, Seven Management Rewards. And and rewards is an acronym, R-E-W-A-R-D-S, Principles for Becoming a Top 10% Manager. I love that idea. We're not just being a top manager, but a top 10% manager. Why the difference there, David? Well, personally, I don't want to be anywhere but at the top, and I'm sure most people like that. I have actually become a top 10% manager in three separate unrelated industries in my career. Mm. Uh, we are currently, my company is in the top 1% uh, in the U.S., well, as far as that goes, in the world, of employee engagement and recognition companies. MyEmployees.com is our company. That's the website. But uh, that's what, you know, I'm, I'm very well qualified to say being in the top 10% because, you know, like I said, we're in the top 1%. I've actually become, and I, don't, I hope this doesn't come across as arrogant, it's not meant to, but I've actually not only become the top 10% manager in three different industries, I've also become a multi-millionaire in the last two. So I do know what I'm talking about when I wrote the book, and everything in the book is from my heart, from my career. I've read over 200 and some management books. I read three to four hours every day. 
And uh, I only work on my company now. I don't work in it at all. I love that. Uh, so that what's the quote? Not all readers, not all leaders. All are leaders. Are, yeah. yeah. Right. Not all readers are leaders, but all leaders are readers. And Absolutely. It, it makes Absolutely. Uh, makes yeah, great sense. Right. Where do we get a copy yep. of your book, David? Oh, you go to Amazon. Uh, Amazon, of course, and you go to Built. You just do a search for Built to Lead, David Long, and it pops up. By the way, as a favor for your listeners, anybody that buys a hardback copy, if they will send me an email to David Long at top 10 managercom and put in the subject line free ebook. I will basically, for anybody that buys the hardback version and sends me an email with their Amazon receipt, I will send them an ebook version for free. Wow. So they've got every base covered. I, I love it. David Long at, <laughs> at uh, Top 10 Manager? Is that the? Yep. Top 10 Manager, the number 10, not not spelled out T-E-N, but one zero. Top 10 Manager.com. Uh, fantastic. Right. David, thanks for sharing a couple of minutes with us. We, we're sure grateful for uh, what you're doing. You can be built to lead. We appreciate you. That's right. Thank you, guys. I appreciate the opportunity. All right, folks, don't go anywhere. When we come back, more positive business talk. You're listening to Angel and Eric on the Experience Pros Radio Network. The Experience Pros are here to help you get your business right. To learn more, visit experiencepros.com. Orange Theory Fitness at Parker and Arapahoe is the official fitness sponsor of the Experience Pros Radio Show. This is Angel, and Orange Theory is the energizing group fitness concept that is sweeping the nation. Experience the orange effect at the location Eric and I work out at. It's Orange Theory Fitness at Parker and Arapahoe Road. You'll see more energy, visible toning, and extra calorie burn for up to 36 hours after your workout. Call for a free Saturday session at 303-645-4290. That's 303-645-4290. We'll see you at Orange Theory Fitness at Parker and Arapahoe Road. Networking is full of myths. Bring lots of business cards. Be sure to meet at least 10 new people. Have your 30-second sales pitch ready. Ugh. Your network is your net worth, but only if you're networking with your A-team. Take the guesswork out of your networking by joining Extreme Relationship Management. It's transforming the way people are networking. It's way more fun than drive-by networking and doesn't waste your time handing out stacks of business cards. Check out ExtremeRelationshipManagement.com for their next event. ExtremeRelationshipManagement.com if printing is an essential part of your business day, then RMK Cartridge is your lifeline to success. Hi, this is Eric, and Angel and I wouldn't think of running our business without having RMK Cartridge on our speed dial. Remanufactured ink and toner cartridges are just the beginning. Free delivery and award-winning service coupled with 30 to 50% savings over original manufactured products means that we're saving time, money, and space in the landfill all at once. Treat your printer to the best. Contact the guys at RMK Cartridge at 303 781 2076 or on the web at rmkcartridge.com. Can you imagine going an entire day without your phone or computer? Crazy, right? How else would you communicate with your team, contact that client, or even get paid? Absolutely nothing happens when you don't have technology in your lap. Even a slow running computer can stall your progress. And when your software doesn't sync, nothing seems to work out. You've got a technology partner like no other with C Squared Computer Consulting. C Squared is your business pain reliever. Solve your pain. Call C Squared at 303 933 1113. Hi ladies, this is Angel and I want to let you in on one of my favorite fashion secrets. It's my eyelashes. That's right, my eyelashes. I've been going to Carabella Studio for a full year and ever since then I've had nothing but compliments on my eyelash extensions from my friend Reggie at Carabella Studio. And my favorite part? No more daily hassle of applying and removing mascara and all of the compliments I get. Get yours today. Call Carabella Studio today at 303-909-9585. That's 303-909-9585. And to ask for the Angel Eyes offer and get your new lashes for only $150. 303-909-9585. There's only one place on the dial for you to share your stories of great customer service, and that's Fan Bragging Friday on the Experience Pros Radio Show. Every Friday, the phone lines are open for you to call and tell the world who's getting it right in business. Call 855-FAN-BRAG and change the way people treat people in business. You can post your stories every day on the Experience Pros Facebook page and call in on Fridays for Fan Bragging Friday at 855-326-2724. 855-FAN-BRAG. Tell Eric and Angel and then tell the world about Fan Bragging Friday. Freedom 560 with Ken Clark, today at noon on KLZ 560. 
The Experience Pros want to help you get your business right. Have you joined the revolution? Visit meetup.com slash the revolution and become a business revolutionary. And now, back to Eric and Angel on the Experience Pros radio show. Say, say, say what you want. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to tune in to ours. Hey, uh, it's time for business tips and insights. You know who's on the phone. We have Matt Skinner with RMK Cartridge. RMK Cartridge, putting the color back in your world. Hi, Matt. Hello. Good morning. How are you guys today? Matt, we are doing fantastic. Thanks for the call. What uh, What's on your mind today, man? Uh, basically, it's just uh, before you go out and buy a printer, you know, kind of figure out what your really your printing needs are going to be. You know, I mean, if you're printing a lot of color, it's good to have a color printer. But if you're just printing a lot of black, you don't need a color printer. Oh no, well, hold on, Mister. Sometimes I might need a color printer. Right. Well, sometimes, but if you're a person that prints majority of your documents and so forth in black and. If you buy a color laser printer, sometimes it doesn't work out so well just because color laser printers are meant to be printing color and not black. So mm. you'd actually be wasting money by buying the color laser. Oh, okay, all right. So so make sure that you have the printer that's going to be appropriate for the job. Uh, and when you have the occasional need for color, what do you do? Do you just go out to a, a print shop? Well, a lot of people just have their little printers, you know, that sit aside and can print color. Or, you know, you do if you know, it needs to be a high quality print. Yeah, go go talk to your local print person. They can definitely probably take care of you, give you a great quality and a good price. I think, you know, this is just brings to light a lot of things that as business owners, we should have a clue. We should have more than a clue about what it is that we're, you know, the equipment we're using, the equipment we need, um, what we're producing in our office. But I think we're just kind of going through the emotions and we don't really even stop and think about this. One of the reasons we love our relationship with our MK Cartridge is because they're making sure that you have the right product to serve your business needs, not just the product that the salesperson wants to sell you at the store. Right. Correct. It's you got to kind of watch what you're doing, otherwise it can really cost you a lot of money in the long run. You know, one of the things I love so much about RMK Cartridge, Matt, is that you, uh, you, you, you give out your phone number and let people call you and say, you know, here, here are what, you know, this is what I do print, this is how I do it. And you not only can tell us what, what uh, you know, how, how you should go about buying your printer, but you also talk about the cartridges and the ink cartridges or the toner cartridges, the way they replace them, and how much those cost, because that's where the real cost comes in, right? Absolutely. Your cartridges are always going to out your cartridges are always going to cost you more money than what you originally paid your printer for. Okay. In the long run. And, so and I mean the big companies make their money on the ink and toner. They don't really make it on the printers. Is it so still gonna, true? Get you. Is it still true, Matt, that that uh, in order to print black on some printers you have to use all the colors? There's multiple colors of black. I mean, you have a, a, a flat black, which is just using the black, but there's also different types of grays that they use the multiple colors to make the gray. Uh, so, you'd think they'd just but, give it just black, but, but they're, they're stealing from the colors. Absolutely. And sometimes they do it for a reason, um, where certain companies will play, lay down a, a, you know, a yellow before they put down the black, and it makes the black pop out a little bit more for the quality of the black. So... Sometimes they do use a little color in the black to make sure it stands out. Well, get a better quality ink and toner cartridge from RMK Cartridge. Save yourself time and money. It is amazing to work with the local business owners over at RMK. How do they get in touch with you, Matt? You can always give us a call at 303-781-2076. Um, you can always find us online at rmkcartridge.com, or you can come see us at 5176 South Broadway, which is at the intersection of Bellevue and Broadway. Fantastic. Thanks for calling in today, Matt. Hey, thank you, guys. You guys have a wonderful day. That's Matt Skinner at RMK Cartridge, rmkcartridge.com. Uh, hey, you looking for a new job, getting ready to brush up that resume? There are a bunch of mistakes that you can make, and we're going to help you avoid some of them. Number one, get somebody to spell check. Typos still. Yeah, typos still are. Uh, it, it, it's hard to imagine a typo on a resume anymore because if you write your resume in like something like Microsoft Word, there's that little squiggly red line. Pay attention. It it must it can't be right. It doesn't know. We're yeah, gonna ignore that. Just a computer. And 
actually, and even not even from the typos, re redundant words like we can put the word and and or bb like redundant words in a sentence, and because we've cut and paste or modified the sentence a little bit, there might be some extra words in a sentence. And that whatever don't you there. do, don't write do do. Uh, that's a bad one. Here's another one. Length. A good rule of thumb is one page of resume for every ten years of work experience. If you can't fit that in, and frankly, I would say don't even exceed uh, two pages because if you exceed two pages, you put 30 years, nobody cares. Ain't nobody going to read that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Right. All right. Yeah. So a page for 10 years, so maximum 20 years. Maximum. Back. And frankly, yeah. you probably don't even need that That's uh, true. unless you change a lot of jobs and then and I can we, tell you about yeah. your resume anyways. Yeah, there, there's a problem mm -hmm. there too. Bye-bye. Uh, mm -hmm. Formatting, make sure that you uh, format for the job that you are looking for. If you're going to be a, uh, a designer or an artist, get creative. It's okay. Well, you can get creative, and there are some really neat examples online of some fun things you can do to make your resume pop with some, even a photograph. Um, now, of course, white paper blank ink is always the most classic. If you are going to do any formatting with columns and um, any adjustments to it, centering here, blocking out there, make sure that before you send it off via email that you convert it to a PDF. Yes, because somebody else would put that document file, the DOC file, into their uh, word processor. They don't have the same settings as yours. It's going to be all garbled and goofy, oh, yeah. and it's going to look hideous. You would be mortified if you saw it on the receiving end because you know you spent so much time formatting it, making it look perfect, and the margins, everything, and it comes through on the other side just all twisted and ick. You, you would be mortified. Save it as a PDF. If you're putting confidential information in your resume, stop it right now. Okay, uh, here's an example. One time consulted a major comp uh, software company in Redmond, Washington. Rejected. You know what? Uh, don't don't put confidential information. It's not it's not appropriate. And don't put your social security number on there. Oh gosh! <laughs> Please, uh, this quite possibly is the largest mistake people make when writing a resume, and we can encourage all we want, and hopefully you will pay attention. Don't lie. Mm, be honest. Be truthful. Uh, three credits shy of a college degree is not a college degree. Hello. GPAs, you know, you can't transpose numbers there. People check. They, they kinda, find out. They round up. <laughs> <laughs> the, the people check, and you might get the job, and you might be going gangbusters. You might be pulling in that, that four-figure paycheck. Wow. But guess what? Somebody's going to find out. And when Somebody's they gonna do, find out. And here's the problem is they probably the 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 sad part of the whole thing is it's not soon. It's not until you're established into the company, you've got a reputation there, you're on the fast track for growth and success, and then somebody pulls out your resume from five, seven years ago and does a double check on it and discovers you lied back then. Yep. Instant, uh, instantly fired for something really stupid and trivial, and you could have got the job without it. And now you're on the street with this terrible reputation that you've been lying now for seven years. Thanks to Laszlo Bach, a uh, LinkedIn influencer and the senior vice president of people operations at the Google, for the uh, comment that, or the the article that inspired this commentary. We'll be back with more positive business talk coming up next on the Experience Pros Radio Network. The Experience Pros, revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. Nylon's Collision Center is an award-winning body shop that takes great care of you and your car. This matters when your insurance company wants to take shortcuts. Nylon's Collision Center only uses manufactured parts. This matters when a cheap, ill-fitting part is available. At Nylon's, it matters. If it's not perfect, it's not leaving. 303-761-9219. 303-761-9219. Hi, this is Angel, and I've been in my home for 12 years now. When I think about redecorating, I just can't seem to get past what I've always done. Helene's Designs offers a fluff-it-up service for home decorating. She takes what I already have and rearranges just enough to fluff it up. Call Helene to get fluffed up at 720-233-7302. Helene's Designs is a full-service design firm that helps you turn your dreams into a reality. Call Helene's Designs today at 720-233-7302 or check out the before and after pictures online at helenesdesigns.com. 
Attention business owners, if you're waiting 30 to 60 days or more to get paid, Riviera Finance can turn your invoices into immediate cash flow. Let them help. Their process is simple and no debt is created. Riviera Finance is located right here in Denver. They've been helping companies across the U.S. for over 40 years. So if you bill on credit but need better cash flow, call Jack Loudon at Riviera Finance now at 303-409-7706. That's 303-409-7706. Or visit rivierafinance.com. Hi, this is Eric, and I want to talk to you about my friends over at McDonald Volvo. This family-owned business has been delivering extreme customer service for almost 50 years right here in our neighborhood. With upfront worry-free pricing and super personalized service, your best car buying experience is at McDonald Volvo. General Manager Will Routon is a great friend, and he wants to meet you personally. Call him at 303-738-4803. That's 303-738-4803, and tell them the pros sent you. Gain your own insight into the leading cause of divorce, money. Pick up your copy of Couples Money at couplesmoney.com and discover you're not alone in your financial struggles. Couples Money is written by a married couple in the financial industry, Chris and Marlo Felton. They share their personal story of financial transformation and insights they've gained from working with thousands of couples. Couples Money, what every couple should know about money and relationships, is available at Amazon or at couplesmoney.com. Get on the same page with your spouse with easy-to-follow concepts and action steps proven to work. Couples Money at couplesmoney.com. You keep wondering about refinancing options. You know rates are low, but don't know how to go about getting the best rate and best type of loan for your situation. What do you even need to get started? Wonder no more. Go to CherylAnswers.com. Cheryl of ALMC Mortgage has put together a checklist of what you need to know and frequently asked questions when it comes to your mortgage. Get answers. Go to CherylAnswers.com. CherylAnswers.com. LMB number 1000-20432. NMLS number 266695. You can check the licensing status of your mortgage loan originator at Dora state.co.us freedom 560 with ken clark is coming up at noon on klz 560 the experience pros radio show home of the original fan bragging fridays take just 20 seconds to become a revolutionary by sharing a fan bragging story of great customer service on facebook.com slash experience pros now back to angel and eric the experience pros Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Very nice to have you along with us. And uh, boy, I'm excited about our next guests in the studio. Of course, I love seeing men and women in uniform. It just it, it makes me so proud to be an American. But of course, for years now, we have had this great partnership with the Colorado National Guard. Absolutely. Uh, we've got Captain Darren Overstreet, the State Public Affairs Officer with the Colorado National Guard. We have a great partnership. You come in once a month and you bring us incredible guests and just help us be educated on what the Colorado National Guard is doing both here in Colorado and internationally. Darren, welcome to the show. Thanks, guys. Love to be here. Well, uh, today we have uh, uh, Major Nicole David. She's our state partnership program coordinator. Uh, you know, through the years, we've talked a lot about uh, the state mission that the Colorado National Guard has, uh, helping with fires and floods. We've talked about uh, the deployments that we do overseas. But one of the things we haven't talked a lot about is uh, the international. Uh, cooperations that we have in the National Guard uh, through the State Partnership Program. And uh, Major Nicole David's uh, the one who takes care of that uh, for us. And uh, she's here to talk about the uh, uh, celebrating our 10th anniversary with the country of Jordan this year. Well, fantastic. fantastic to have you, Major Nicole David. Now, first of all, Darren, thank goodness we don't have you guys dealing with floods and fires in Colorado this summer. We're very happy about that. It has been many years. We were either on fire or or underwater. So, all right, well, we're going to talk about the 10th anniversary of the partnership with Jordan and that significance. And so let's bring us down to back to the basics. Why is it significant for us to have a partnership with Jordan? Well, first, thanks for having me today. Um, You know, Jordan is a huge ally of the United States. And so for Colorado to have picked up this partnership 10 years ago is a big deal. As you can see in current affairs right now, um, it's, it's, va- it's very important that we maintain this relationship and that we help them because they're helping us to combat terrorism. And so what are some of the things that they're doing to help us and what are we doing to help them? Can you tell us? (laughs) I could tell you, but then... (laughs) (laughs) You know what, Major, I bet you could. (laughs) No, um, the partnership is really uh, an exchange, military-to-military exchanges. So we work 
hand in hand with them on different things that we have in common militarily. So whether that's um, flying F-16s or or flying Black Hawk helicopters or maintenance or cyber terrorism or anything like that, so that side by side coalition situations we understand each other, especially culturally, because we are very different. And different doesn't mean wrong. We just do things differently, so we learn from each other. Well, Major, I got a question for you. Uh, is is Colorado the only uh, national guard, the state in the national guard that is uh, in this partnership? How does that work? Nope. This started back in the early '90s, um, the fall of the Soviet bloc. So um, these newly formed countries are about the size of some states. And so we had to figure out, the U.S. had to figure out how do we help these sta these countries form their new militaries from civilians. Mm. And that's the history of the National Guard. We were civilians. We put down our plow, we picked up our gun, and we became, you know, militia for the states. There are 68 partnerships across the country right now. Wow. Um, Colorado is fortunate, fortunate enough to have two, uh, one with Slovenia that we celebrated last year 20 years with, and one with Jordan, which is very unique because of all 68, it is the only one in the Levant region. Whoa, whoa. The what? <laughs> The Levant region. What, so. what, what is this Levant region of which you speak? Don't you do research before you... Oh, <laughs> come on now. So this is an area in the Middle East. Um, most people are unclear of what that area is, but those are the countries, Syria, Lebanon, Jor Jordan, um, Israel, the Palestinian territories. That whole region there is considered the Levant. They're in the news these days. A lot. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> right. So it's a very important partnership for that reason. It is very important. We're thinking, um, you know, when we talk about what's going on, ISIS is what comes up. But is it really ISIL, I-S-I-L, and because of the Levant region? Does the right. president know the difference? <laughs> I sure hope so. All right. Um, you know, it's... It, they're not recognizing the militants that are responsible for this aren't recognizing um, that they're trying to take over necessarily this region. And that's this is a term that the U.S. has created because they are. It's not just Iraq. It's not just Syria. It's that whole Levant region. And Jordan has been targeted as, as the next country that they're going to try to to break into. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. So we have a great partnership and, and relationship with Jordan. Let's talk about your experiences, Nicole, with this partnership. Um, well, I've been traveling to Jordan since 2006, so, um, and I am from Arab descent my, on my father's side, from Syria, so I very much um, embrace the culture. It's a wonderful culture, very hospitable, very warm, and the people are, are very wonderful. And if you ever get a chance to travel, it's very safe there, um, and it's just amazing sights to see. It's so funny to listen to you because that is... You don't uh, hear that on the mainstream... Yeah. Uh, Hospitable, friendly, safe. safe to travel there. That is not at all the impression, um, the, what do you call that, um, interpretation... It's just a spin. Yeah, yeah, of what we're hearing. And and it is. It really is. And I, I know Captain Overstreet has been there several times as well. It's it's a beautiful country with beautiful people. Well, if, if, if we decide to go over uh, Major Captain, I, th I think we should go with you guys because I don't really feel safe. <laughs> Absolutely. Just, just wearing the uniform... I mean, I mean, it probably plays into um, how you feel. So does it help you feel safer or n less safe by wearing there? a uniform? Yes. Um, you know, we're very careful about that. It depends. We, we usually are in uniform only when we're with their military. So when we're not, um, we're in civilian clothes. Okay. And, and, you know, that's just normal travel, Respect. tourist, force protection. You yeah. know, you just, common sense applies. All right. Well, fabulous. Well, thank you so much for being in the studio with us today. Major Nicole David, she's the Colorado National Guard's State Partnership Program Coordinator. She oversees the relationships with Jordan and Slovenia um, here with Colorado. What else do you want our listeners to know today, to, today Nicole? Well, I just want to thank you guys for having me and uh, continue to support uh, the Colorado National Guard because we are proud to support our civilians here. Well, and, and we can uh, speak for uh, our entire listening audience, and I'm pretty sure uh, the, the, the majority of uh, Coloradans, uh, as we say thank you, thank you for your service uh, and, and the things that... You know, we just don't hear in the mainstream media. You can find out right here on the Experience Pros radio show. You can talk and you can actually connect with the Colorado National Guard. And so, Captain Overstreet, I'm going to ask you, how do we connect with the, the, the National Guard here in Colorado and find out information and make ourselves more educated? Well, we're on uh, Facebook at uh, Kong 1860, which is the year we were founded. Um, that's C-O-N-G 1860. And then also on the web at C-O dot ng dot mil m i l c o dot ng dot 
M I L. Makes it easy. Absolutely, Captain Overstreet. Thanks for being here today. Sure, you guys take care. Thank and you. And for bringing great guests, you always do. I always feel just a little bit more educated about what's going on in a way that doesn't have a spin on it um, of of where we're. I don't know, kind of being told this is what we want you to think. Yeah, so very absolutely. Thank you so and clearing much. up that ISIS ISIL thing because I thought the president was wrong. I didn't. I, I didn't know. <laughs> All right, folks, don't go anywhere. More positive business talk coming up next. You're listening to Angel and Eric on the Experience Pros Radio Network. The Experience Pros are here to help you get your business right. To learn more, visit experiencepros.com. Do you want to meet some new people, make some great connections, and network with other business owners? Call me, Penny, today at 303-220-0366 or go to theconnectingexperts.com. Connecting people to people. Back to school is just like back to work. Families relocate, businesses open new offices, and you need to order new phone lines, equipment, and internet connections. Hi, this is Eric, encouraging you to do what we did. Call Lori White and Lorianne Communications and let her do it all for you. From phone lines to cable installation, Lori is your phone gal. She's always ready to serve your back to work needs. Call Lori today, 303 4 419-3415. That's 303-419-3415 or online at lauriancom.com. That's L-O-R-I-A-N-C-O-M-M.com. Run a business and have a life. You got into business so you could enjoy life and Employer Essentials can help. They keep up with the ever-changing payroll and employment laws and requirements, as well as all those employee management issues. Employer Essentials is the answer you've been looking for to add payroll and HR solutions that offer you peace of mind and the time to do what you want to do. Employer Essentials, Denver's trusted local payroll and HR provider for 15 years. EmployerEssentials.com or 303-734-9436. Join business owners and leaders from across the front range for an incredible leadership event featuring John Maxwell, Linda Kaplan-Taylor, and Tim Sanders as they share valuable lessons in leadership. Network with other leaders during this half-day simulcast on Friday, October 10th from 8.30 to 1 p.m. at the Embassy Suites in Stapleton. L2 Learn Lead is here. The event is perfect for people who are busy running a business, family, or organization and are looking to become more effective. Leadership isn't just for those who have a team working for them. It's for you. The first 100 people to register on Eventbrite get tickets for only $69. That's Eventbrite slash L2 Stapleton. Eventbrite slash L2 Stapleton. Join us Friday, October 10th at the Embassy Suites in Stapleton. Revitalize, release stress, and empower with Karen Corona's healing and transformational programs. Karen is a master healer and a teacher with 30 years experience providing holistic healing treatments, coaching, yoga, meditation classes, and retreats. Receive the healing inner tools you need to achieve your goals. Call Karen today and get started. 303-725-1119. That's 303-725-1119. Mention this ad and receive a free yoga class or a $150 coupon toward her upcoming healing and transformational retreat in October, set in the lovely Nuevo Vallarta, Mexico. Call today, 303-725-1119, or visit online at karencorona.com. Tell your staff to tune in daily to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Business training and inspiration from national experts are here for you every day on the Experience Pros Radio Show. Start your week off by learning a great new business skill. Tune in midweek to boost your positive attitude and be sure to always end your week with Fan Dragon Friday. The Experience Pros Radio Show is here for you every day, changing the way people treat people in business. Join the revolution and tune in to the Experience Pros Radio Show, weekday business training designed to inspire you to get your business right. John Rush, today at 2 on KLZ 560. The Experience Pros Radio Show, where small business is big business and your business is our business. Follow them on Twitter.com slash Experience Pros. Now, back to Angel and Eric, the Experience Pros. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Very nice to have you along with us today. You know, uh, last night, Angel, we made a huge announcement, and uh, we were just so excited. We, we put a new engine into our extreme customer service directory, and the reason this is so important is that, uh, you know, our, our, our registered trademark, Fanbragging? Correct. 
it now becomes such a huge part of being able to make you and your company visible and you get to control it. We're having so much fun finding more ways to make our members more visible in the community and making sure that customers can find them, can share their fan rags online and get those five-star reviews. Lots of fun stuff is happening. Had a great turnout last night at our, our monthly visibility event. We celebrated Safety Solved's five-year anniversary in Congratulations business. Congratulations to her. Which was it's such a milestone in business. and. Anybody who's gone through those first five years know that it is such a roller coaster ride in business. And of course, as we are, we created the Extreme Customer Service Directory a year and a half ago. I feel almost like we're in that first five years of development, but we've come a long way. Thanks so much to the help of Blue Zenith Web Design and Stern DMB for helping us put this new platform together that is going to grow your business. We're always looking for, especially online, how do we make sure that we're present on the web that our customers can find us that when they get there that they're seeing the testimonials and the reviews from other customers because that's such an important part of the buying process more so than ever before absolutely and uh, you know again to to differentiate ourselves and we, we talked a little bit about this last night but I want to make sure that our listening audience understands uh, to differentiate the the difference between our directory and all those other directories that are out there you've got uh, Tom Martino you got Haystack Colorado you got your Angie's list and you got uh, Team Dave Logan. The difference is customer service. And it's not just talking about customer service, but we actually go through and put every one of the members through a 15-step vetting process that when we put our logo and our stamp of approval on our members, you can trust that their experience, your customer experience with them is going to be phenomenal. And on the off chance, sometimes things happen, right? And it doesn't go the way you expect it to. You can guarantee, we can guarantee that these folks on the Extreme Customer Service Directory are going to do everything they can to make it right. Well, the, the benefit to you is they've been vetted. We know that their customers are saying nice things about them. Um, and we are all checking those online reviews these days, right? It's We would be silly if we went and bought a new product or tried a new service and we didn't check them out uh, to find out, to make sure that they offered great customer service because you don't want to be on the receiving end of you had a bad experience and then you go online and see that there was a, a bunch of other people that have already gone online and said bad things about them. And you feel so silly. Well, we did that work already for you by vetting them. We've checked them out. We've gone to all the website reviews. We've also listened to their customers and found out they offer great customer service. So you can trust the people that you find listed on the Extreme Customer Service Directory. The new listing is so easy to use, so easy to navigate, so, so easy, easy to, to search. To fan brag and give a fan brag and five star reviews to your favorite companies in business and it is super exciting it's a was a really big announcement the soft launch is now happening inside of our network all of our members are playing with the new website uh, making sure that there's no bugs and you know that it's all working great and then the official launch will come out in October yeah we're very very excited uh, so if you've got questions or if you've got interest in uh, joining the extreme customer service directory we would love to answer your questions and uh, and perhaps uh, partner with you in making your brand visible. It's never been easier, it's never been more powerful, and it certainly has never been less expensive than it is today uh, at the Experience Pros Extreme Customer Service Directory. ExperiencePros.com and if you'd like more questions, uh, your questions answered, write me at fanbrag, that's fanbrag at experiencepros.com. All right, so lots of events coming up. Of course, we had our visibility event last night, but we're going to be in Greeley on Tuesday, September 23rd. It's our Chocolate Blues Mixer, so all of the uh, vendors who are part of the Chocolate Blues event, a lot of them will be there participating. Open networking at Randy's All-American Grill in Greeley. We'll be there from 6.30 to 8.30 on Tuesday, September 23rd. But coming up this Sunday, um, Besso, the Tapas and Wine Bar in Highlands Ranch, is having a little taste of Italy wine pairing dinner uh -huh. and so you can click on the calendar tab at meetup.com slash experience pros click on the calendar chat tab and click out check out the wine and 
the Italy wine pairing dinner at Besso oh, coming up yeah. on Sunday. And of course, um, there's a Business Links golf tournament coming up on Monday, October 6th. Um, and it's to benefit the Tragedy Assistance Program. For Perhaps. For, for military survivors. Mm -hmm. um, they've actually filled up all of their sponsors. They're just looking for golfers. Um, need a few more golfers to participate. And um, it's only $125, $125 to golf. $125. You know, the, and look, that seems like a lot, but, but to be honest with you, I've gone to golf tournaments where it's twice, three times that amount, and, uh, and you're just going to have such a great time. Get your golfing done before the snow hits. <laughs> you can register at Business Links Tournament. Dot com. That's businesslinkstournament.com. It's a 9 a.m. kickoff for the golf, so you'll be done. You'll have the beautiful weather in the morning. Of course, there's an awards luncheon, banquet, and prizes, and all sorts of goodies. I understand we're going to be broadcasting. Oh, that's right, and we're live broadcasting. Right. And I think um, for the first time ever, we've done a lot of broadcasts at golf tournaments, and we're usually right next to the clubhouse because we need electricity, we need the Wi-Fi. You know, there's some technical issues that come along with doing a live broadcast. They're trying to get us out on a hole. A hole? So we're going to be actually on the golf course. Here comes the tea. I know. It's going to be so much fun. We're going to like be there on the action. Four. Um, so make sure you come out and you golf. Um, golf with us. It's actually hosted by Perfect Cloud Solutions. Love Perfect, those guys. Perfect Cloud Solutions is hosting this event. You can sign up again, businesslinkstournament.com. And... I don't know which hole we'll be on, but how fun is that going to be? We're going to be like out in the middle of the action. I, I talked to George over at Perfect Cloud Solutions, and I'm like, if you put us on a hole, we're not going to be quiet. We're, we're, we're the experience pros. We're like doing a live radio show. Well, you know what? Actually, I think Golfers what we're going to... get a little twitchy about that. No, no. We're going we're gonna to offer... We're going to, I think, do a fundraiser. Oh. Um, and so if they let us take their swing... Ho, ho, ho! They can, they can pay. They, we get to take their swing, or they can pay to take their swing. I don't know. I don't know how that's going to go. But I like Something kind of fun. With yeah, a, we totally take their swing, and even you could you could pay 50 bucks just to uh, say, Eric, sit down and do what you do best. Yeah. Yeah. You want to do it, or do you want us to do it? So it'll be super fun. Um, always have a great time. And that is one of the best things. You want to do business with the most fun people in business? That's what we are. Mm -hmm. um, that's what we attract here at the Experience Pros Network. Always Always lots of great, great ideas, great events, great fun going on. Do business with people that offer you extreme customer service every single day. Imagine if you called them and said, I found you on the extreme customer service directory. What kind of customer service do you think you're going to get? Awesome. Right. Absolutely awesome. It doesn't mean that, you know, it's perfect every time because it's people, but we... We do try, and we try our best, and we try our hardest, and we want to make sure that we are serving you. Well, we have a surprise guest here in I the studio this. today. Carrie Connolly with Infinite Nation just walked into the studio, and I have uh, a question for you. Carrie, welcome to the studio. Well, how fun is it to be here with both of you? I've missed you guys. Well, it has been a while. Well, it's you been are, a long while. You are now our world traveler with offices now in Denver and in Phoenix. Yes, and Oklahoma in between. And Oklahoma uh, you know in between. What? That, that makes a good sandwich. Uh, really cool. Hey, uh, let me let me ask you this. You've got an event coming up. Uh, do you still do you still have open slots? We have an event coming up that they are. We are just now going to start pushing out called. Success Unleashed. You guys were there last year. Right. Um, so I'm going to start telling people next week to start saving the date. It's January 16th and 17th, 2015. Right. It's a fr it's a two-day event this year, you guys. Oh, yeah. So one day was not enough. One day was not enough. No. And it's going to be triple the amount of people, a lot of really exciting things planned, and just a great way to kick off the year and get your vision and your goals going. All right. So here's your save the date Unleashed. notice yes. for our Success Unleashed Summit second annual Success Unleashed Summit. Give me the dates again. January 16th and 17th. It's a Friday, Saturday, I believe. Nice way to kick off your year. Mm -hmm. Oh, right? absolutely. Lots of moving parts. You people will be there, of course. We can't wait. We <laughs> love working with you, Carrie. And uh, folks, if you've never uh, met Carrie, you need to. You owe it to you to yourself. Uh, InfiniteNation.com. InfiniteNation.com. Uh, Carrie, uh, things are well. Things are great. I love that. Thanks yes. for coming by and stopping and, and hanging out with well, us. Well, what a treat. I just was in the building, was waving at you, and here I am. I saw you in the glass room there where Charlie <laughs> hangs out, and I thought, you know, you just got to come in and and, uh, and share what you're doing and, and just say hi to our listeners. Well, I always love, love being here with you guys. 
Love that. I love that. Well, it is. Um, it has been an incredible day. It is Fan Bragging Eve. Oh, that's right. It is Fan Bragging Eve. Tomorrow is our Fan Bragging Friday. We're going to open up the phone lines. You get to call and say something nice about somebody else in business. And when you do, you increase your visibility like crazy. We're giving you the keys to your own professional Cadillac. Go ahead and call 855-FANBRAG tomorrow between 10 and noon in the Mountain Time Zone, and we would love to hear from you. Now, on behalf of Charlie, our producer, Angel, myself, Kerry Conley with Infinite Nation, and all the people that make the Experience Pros Radio Show happen every single day, we say thank you. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for participating in this, the revelation in how people treat people in business. Now give somebody a 20-second kiss. You know you want one. That stands for kindness is so simple. This has been the Experience Pros Radio Show with business revolutionaries Angel Tussie and Eric Raymer. For more information, you can contact Experience Pros by calling 720-344-2446 or visit them on the web at experiencepros.com, facebook.com slash experiencepros, and twitter.com slash experiencepros. What are you waiting for? Join the revolution. Freedom 560 with Ken Clark is next on KLZ 560. A job at a fast food restaurant is not supposed to be a career. It is not supposed to be a living wage. It is supposed to be a starter.